hard, but fuck it, I'm paid. Lil' A be the body, he fresh out the cage. I'm still the same nigga from minimum wage. I'd like to tell him to come over here and tell him to kiss my ass. Used to want to be a superhero, flying around with a cape. I'm uh, inside Chicago right now, traveling through, saw the city. I was like, I might as well stop. This is my friend right here. You want to introduce yourself? Hey, hi guys. I'm Saga. What happened? Your phone ran out of battery, right? Yeah, and he's my man. He's going to help <laughs> me out right now. So he asked me for a phone charger. I said, of course, you could use my phone charger. And by the time. way, <laughs> his drone playing skills up on the spot. Oh, you guys know the drone shots that I put in the videos? I do that myself. I fly the drone and everything like that. So appreciate that, man. It means a lot. Saga right here. I'm giving a ride to his house. He subbed to the channel. Shout out him. 253k subscribers. Yeah, That's man. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to give him a ride to his house right now because okay. you're going to take a scooter there, huh? Yeah, I was going to take a scooter. Yeah. In this weather. And he is giving me a ride home. Like, oh. man, you are pretty sweet. Thank you. You too. I, I, for real, you too. I appreciate yeah. that. I think it's a good lesson of like just talking to people. Yeah, that's true. He is really humble, you know? Oh, thank you, man. And where are you from again? Because he just moved here like two months ago. Yeah, I came two months ago for my master's and I'm from India. From India. Yeah. Been here for two months to get his master's. I mean, that's amazing, man. We finally made it after a long journey and we're here, man. A couple of roadblocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is what life's all about right here. It's adventure, meeting new people. Hopefully you don't kidnap me right now. <laughs> I would have kidnapped you first, man. So this is These it. These are my homemade sweets. Just try it out. All right. So it's like a homemade dish from where you're yeah. from in your culture, yeah. huh? And it's actually really good for your health, you know? Really? Yeah. This was sent to me by my mother. She made it? Yeah. She oh made my it God. She me this. It's good. All right. It was really nice to meet you. Bye. We'll be in contact, all right? It's an interesting life, man. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know how that stuff happens to me, man. I think it's just about like being open, guys. I've been bold, so damn hard, I swear. I think that I'm cold. All right, guys, made it to Fergus Falls, Minnesota. This is my favorite place in Minnesota because we're in the middle of nowhere. What's up, man? What do you got to say? What do you got to say? <laughs> Get out of my face. We're allowed to film in public, dude. Oh, we're, not my own home. <laughs> we're not even in public. Yeah. Yeah. You guys know Looney's, though. We filmed, so you probably have seen Looney's on the channel. And I'm just wasting all of his SD card space by recording this. Are you actually this. recording that? Yeah, bro. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> the camera's right here. <laughs> it's just a prank. <laughs> yeah, man, just like that, we're in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Last clip, we were in Chicago. And now we're here, dude, because I just freaking spawned everywhere i go it was so far i drove like 12 hours yesterday but dude the key is holding in kind of not like really well but sort of well you know what i mean <laughs> like it's taking some shots bro you still have your your messed up oh yeah dude. still bro it's been over a year since you dude well remember up. the guy with his moped roll the clip look at these guys chopping us in here isn't this illegal sir how is this not illegal? Took the freaking thing off, bro. It was last year. Oh, yeah. that was from the guy in the moped? Yeah. Drew, what if we go back? Drop a comment if you guys want us to go back to the pumpkin patch right now. Bro, that vid did 10 mil on TikTok too. You guys went crazy on that video. I feel like he's definitely saw the video. For sure. Well, we're gonna hop in the Kia and head on up to Fargo, North Dakota. Go. Go. All right, guys, we're here at Menards. We're going to grab some things for today's prank. You guys see the title and thumbnail, so we're going to run this prank basically where, you know, one of us pretends to be an employee and the other one's going to chirp the guy. Chirp. I don't know. What does chirp even yeah, mean? Yeah, chirp. Yeah. He's really good at talking crap because he played hockey back in the day, so he's going to get some really good chirps going. Who says chirp? I've never said that before. You're asking what chirping is? Yeah, like, can you explain to the fans, like, what chirping is? Because I've never like really said that. you're being rude, that. but in, like, a funny way. Yeah, like you're talking trash. Yeah, you're talking trash, but, like, in a funny way. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, oh yeah, that's actually. Thank Perfect. You so much. Oh, watch your back. Excuse me. Right. He's unaware of his surroundings. Yeah, I think so. Could you sell me this product right now? You want me to show you this? Yeah. Sure. This is our new Midland headset included okay. in this. And it comes with the batteries. Oh, it comes with the batteries. Doesn't okay. It? Probably does here. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't know about your own products. Yeah, no, I don't work here. <laughs> but I come no, in here I'll like buy I come in here about twice a day, so. so okay. this is good. It's gonna go viral, say. You think so? Yeah. Thanks, man. You have a good day. Yeah, you too. How much does this cost? Nothing. She's got a bad leg. Oh, I thought it was from the store. <laughs> oh. No. Just kidding. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank He's you. Great <laughs> Up to 36 mile range. We could be like in Fargo and Moorhead with you talking to each other. No way, actually. No bother that would be. You're out there like pranking and you're yeah. like, I need fucking backup. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, how's it going? I guess we could. Do we have to or? Okay, no problem. Yeah, just put it down. Yeah. <laughs> the look of disappointment. You should see my filmer. He just like looks so disappointed. She's like so passive aggressive about it. I, I don't know. Please. Yeah, she was very respectful though. I didn't so hear what she said right away. No, I was trying to clarify. Hey, put that camera away, man. Put that, put that away. Put that away. I did not fucking consent. Does it come with your number? No. Okay, then no, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. We got the walkie-talkies working. Repeat, we do have a cop on the right side here. 
are coming. I don't know if that's all the cops, but there might be cops coming. Well, that's good to know. We should get the heck out of here. Yep, let's dip. Roger that. Yeah, the first one savage mode, my mood. That's what it was. All right, guys, today we're running the rude walkie talkie prank. Basically, I'm going to go up to customers in the store. He's going to chirp them from far away. Tell this punch boy to get out of my island because Steelers run the store. Copy that. Sorry, man. My boss said you got to get out of the store. Yeah, I said tell him to get out of the store right now. I'm not wasting any more time. I don't know what to tell you, man. I think you got to leave. Boss, he's got to leave right now. Ask me if I give a fuck. Did you mean this guy right here? Yeah, you talking about the guy that looks like a pumpkin? Come to think of it, he does kind of look like a pumpkin. Tell him to get out of the store right now. Otherwise, we're sending the squad in. We're gonna call the cops, you said? Yes, sir. And they're gonna bend them over in jail. Damn. Alright, yeah, let them know. If I well, I'm a member. Yeah. Leave a odd call like December. What? Dude, we look exactly like the employees, so it should be perfect. How's it going, sir? My boss just sent me over to check on you. What? I don't know they called me in. Do you need help with something or something like that? Roger, come in. Oh. Come in, Roger here. Tell the guy with the four eyes sunglasses on the top to quit stealing from the store. They said you were stealing? I just walked in. I grabbed these nuts. Is it the guy with these nuts? Yeah, the guy that has four eyes, no sunglasses on top of his head. Has yeah. what? What'd you say there? The guy with the four eyes, sunglasses on top of his head, like the fake oak leaser type shit or something like that. I don't know, tell him to quit stealing out of my store. Did you pocket something? No, I just got here. I put my phone in my pocket. Maybe that was it, I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to tell him to come over here and tell him to kiss my ass. You think so? I mean... Well, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Oh. I just walked in. Yeah, I'm kind of just a messenger. If he wants to come over here, tell him to come over here. Do you want to talk to him? Or... Sure. Uh, what is your problem here? Well, you're repping the fake sunglasses in the store and we saw you put something in your pocket. I don't think you got the right guy or come over here, I guess. Do you look fake? You got him from Dollar Tree or what? What are you talking about? You gotta what? press the side right there. What are you talking about? The sunglasses on top of your head that look like you got them out of a toilet or got them from the Dollar Tree. They're just like a beacon on your head and we saw you put something in your pocket. Don't know what you're talking about. Maybe just tell him to come kiss your, your ass. How about you just kiss my ass? There you go. If you give me the sunglasses, then maybe. These are my safety glasses from work. Roger, those are safety glasses. Well, they're fake as fuck, so. <laughs> Who is it? That's my boss. His name's Roger. Is this name. Roger? Roger, come in. <laughs> He's trying to have you come over here. Sounds good. I'll come up. He's going to come over right now. Do I know you? This is my boss, yeah. What are you talking about now? They said that someone had the fake sunglasses in here. That fake sunglasses? <laughs> These are my safety glasses from work. Oh. Sir, I'm sorry they're bad. bothering you. They don't work here. Can you guys take off, please? <laughs> yeah, I think your sunglasses are cool, just so you know. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Just so you Let's know. Go. You have a good one, sir. Hey, boss, I'm getting kicked out of our own store. Uh, what should I do? Roger, I mean, if you want to stay in the store, it's up to you, but I mean, you kind of run the shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you run the shit. You're my boss, so. Well, we're both daddies, so it doesn't matter. You're the real daddy around here. Roger, that was a very good compliment. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Bro, he was like, tell him to come kiss my ass. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Do you want to talk to him? And I put That's it up hilarious. to him. You know what they kicked us out of? Because we went to Fleet Farms in the cities. Yeah. So they sent out like a mass like email. So. Yeah, we always try to be respectful. So if the people are like, yo, get out of our store. We're like, all right, no problem. AP on me, iced out. Tennis chains, iced out. All right, guys, we're at the second store here, the Home Depot. They kicked us out first try last store. So we're going to try to go in here stealth. You guys needed some help? Roger, come in. Here, my boss is right here. Make him empty all the pockets. Are you sure you got the right guys? Yeah, it looked like the one guy like sucked like a dildo or something in his pocket. Dildo? What mean dildo? Honestly, if you guys do a big group hug, I think we can call it good. Oh, he wants a group hug. I guess bring it in. He At said least 10 seconds or more. Yeah, I don't think you guys stole any dildos or anything, so. Dildo? Yeah, I guess just bring it in. We're good to go. Group hug right now, 10 seconds. Okay. Is that 10 seconds? Yeah, yeah he said so. 10 seconds. Alrighty, thank you. Oh, they sent me over. You need help with something? Do you have any small packages of black nuts? Let me make sure. Boss, is this the right guy? Yeah, the guy that looks like he hasn't shaved his beard in about a month. Yeah, he does have a beard, yeah. Okay, yeah, and he looks like he's got a winter coat on, but I mean, obviously it's not winter, so I'm not really sure what he's rocking there. Is that Teflon, or what kind is that? Just a hoodie. Honestly, he could use the hedge trimmer in aisle uh, 18 if he wanted, but I don't even know if that's going to clip that beard or not. It is a pretty nice beard. I don't think a hedge trimmer would even work. Boss, we have two other employees that are staring us down and calling somebody on their cell phones right now, so... Roger that. We can uh, dip out here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, boss, man. <sighs> yeah, we got an officer of the law here as well. How's it going? All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, God. Thank you, thank you. You guys are fast. Guys, we're working hard for you, man. We're really trying. Look, zoom into the cop car over there. They came out quick, bro. Hey, uh, we're uh, leaving the store right now, just to let you know. Roger that. Do you want to say anything to the officer? Uh, no, we're good. Are you guys detained, Roger? No, I don't believe we're detained. I see him, report. I see him. But we are over to the hotel to the right, but don't look over here. We're going to leave, right? Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. Dude, they were on to us like flies on shit, Roger. Yeah, they were on our ass, bro, real quick. Yeah, at least we got that group 
plug in, though, to help everyone feel good. Yeah, the group was great. That was much needed. Roger, keep pulling in the lane right here and just pick us up right here. No cop in the area, so I think we're good. Copy that. Roger that. Roger, Roger. Over. Copy. Dude, how were they on it so fast? I have no idea. Did he say anything? He was like, just get out of here. I was like, yep, no problem. Damn, that's dope. Blow up. We're switching roles right now. I'm gonna do my best to talk trash. I'm not too well versed in the chirping area, but uh, I'm just gonna try my best to talk trash. I'm like too nice though, like in my heart. You're not Craig by chance, are you? Nope. Are you finding everything right? Yep. Is this guy gonna actually shop or is he just gonna stand there with his basket all day? I believe he's shopping. I don't know, you just said to come up and talk to him, but I believe he's shopping. He only has a couple things in his cart. Uh, I saw him kind of sneaking some stuff in his pockets. Can you just check on that? I'll just grab my phone. He said he was just grabbing his phone, that's it. Uh, I don't know. It didn't look like a phone to me. The one I'm holding in my hand? The one that he's got in his hand, the iPhone? I don't know, I saw an Android, but I didn't see an iPhone. Maybe check his pockets, I'd run him. I'd run him, he's looking suspicious up here on the cameras. He said he just had his keys, you just came in here? Yeah. Nah, 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 he didn't just come in here. I don't know, reading, hold on. do a little search on him, a little cavity search. Is this ser serious? It's Tell him to come up here then. Well, I mean, you want to come down here and talk to him from the office? Oh, I'm serious, I, I could see him from the CCTV. Can you tell him to knock it off with the attitude? Just knock it off right now. If he has any more attitude, tell him to knock it off. I think he's clear, bro. I don't think he has anything, but... No, look at him. I see him. What just the look hell? Him. He's definitely suspicious. Jesus. Bro, he just dropped all the stuff. There's nothing in his pockets. He's dropping all. There's nothing. There's literally nothing in his pockets. Check him. I, di I did. There's nothing in the pockets, bro. He's opening his coat, too, and there's nothing in his coat. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's not giving me attitude, he's giving you attitude because you're kind of being a dick, like you always are. Jeez. Are you serious right now? <laughs> is he serious right now? Yeah, are you serious right now? We're both wondering, if, are you serious? Right I'm so serious right now. Is Check him mean? again. We're this just joking. Joke, We're joking. We're just kidding. Bro, you're such a good sport. What's your name? Jeremy. Caden, bro, that's funny. <laughs> you're like, I didn't take oh, anything. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. No, no we were just walking around. Bro, he dropped all his on the floor. You heard that? <laughs> That's how we down and like zipped open his coat. Did someone walk by and snitched, otherwise we could have kept going. Everybody home. know my name, ringing bells, ringing bells like the hallway. Uh -huh. and we're actually going to a hotel for this one. So basically, we're going to be like hotel security. And we're going to go out to people's rooms, knock on them, and then throw them a little bit. We're going to keep the camera low right now so we can sneak in there. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, we were just getting some complaints. Right Copy, there. you at the room. And we're at 418. Yeah, tell him it smells like peyote coming out of the room. We got hella complaints about it. Yeah, were you guys doing peyote in the room? I don't know what peyote smells like. Yeah, I don't either, to be honest. Um, boss, what, what were you smelling? We got multiple complaints that it's smelling like weed coming from the room. So we do have local PD on the way. We have a helicopter in the air if he does try to run. So tell him to be smart with his words here. You said you called PD already for weed? Yeah, because the guy looked like a stoner too. I haven't came out of my room, so... When we get here, five? Were you like smoking weed in there or anything? No. Or? You can come in. I can stay out here if you want. Boss, uh, he wants me to go in the room and check. Repeat, does he have weed on him right now? People no. can smell it out. I just got another yeah. complaint. The guy literally smells like a walking leaf of weed. Do you have any weed on you or no? No. Honestly, just tell him to say crisscross applesauce right now on the ground. Do you mind taking a seat yeah. real quick? Okay. Ask him how many grams he smoked today. How many have you smoked? How many grams? None. So you'd say like half a gram? Zero. Zero grams, but like, would you say like 0.5 grams? I haven't smoked at all. Thank so he's saying he hasn't gotten up to a gram yet of today. Tell him that I roll a whole gram in one joint. What is that pussy shit? I don't smoke, so. Buddy, you look like you just took like 12 tabs of acid. We can see in the cameras right now. The police are coming and they're coming, even though weed's legal, but I'm not high, so. He's saying weed is legal, so he's allowed to roll up as many joints as he wants. It doesn't matter. We write the rules at the hotel. Hotel is different jurisdiction. And then kick me out. Oh, you guys. Tell him to pack his bags then. Bring the manager up here. Do you want to say something? No. He wants you to come up here. Just I can have one of the PD officers come up if you'd like. Yeah, he already slammed the door in my face. He uh, he complied with your sitting regulation though. He sat crisscross applesauce. He sat crisscross applesauce. I think he's getting arrested. Ice water turn Atlantic. Night calling in a phantom. Told him hold it, don't you panic. Took an island, fled the mansion. 